Jamie, tell me, what is Ubuntu Bikes all about? And how did you get started? What prompted the idea and what is your whole? Okay, first of all, what is Ubuntu Bikes? Um, we are a social enterprise which employs local artists to hand customize artwork on bikes. Um, I think we're a little bit different in terms of there are bike customizing sort of services out there, people sell customized bikes, but what's unique about us is that rather than bike people doing more and more artistic style of things to bikes, um, what I've sought to do is take artists who have had no connection with the bikes necessarily before and offer them the bicycle as a unique canvas to do their regular style of artwork on, be they a fine artist, a graffiti artist, a tattooist, an illustrator, a miniaturist. Um, we've got all of those different sort of uh, artistic influences coming onto the bikes and I think the way that that art is delivered and then uh, presented in the format of a bicycle um, creates something that's hopefully I feel new and unique in the market. Magic. And in terms of your market, who are you hoping you're going to actually start buying the bikes? And okay, well, bikes? when I first came up with the concept and the idea, what I envisaged was taking iconic African art to an international audience because I think there's a real cachet um, in the Western world. People see Africa as, as, a, as a, a tribal place, as, as you know, where the roots of man came from. And I think the artwork and the culture in that reflects that and people's interest abroad in things that are typically African and iconically African, you know, really comes comes through with their passion for the crafts that we have here, beading, hand printing, hand crafting, it, things being very sort of, you know, hands-on. Um, so I saw my market as being, this, as I term them, the cycle chic of the world, um, the people out there who love to customise bicycles, who love to ride beautiful bicycles, who also treat cycling as an element of their social life, hopefully, and as an element of their identity and their fashion identity as well. Um, so it's not about performance, it's not about sport, it's not about going fast, it's about looking good, feeling good as you ride and just enjoying your bicycle in as many ways as you can. I'm Lorraine, I'm a freelance artist at the moment um, and I'm currently working on my first bicycle, which you can see over there. Um, I've Test, I've experimented with some um, masking and, and airbrushing, but uh, it's a very new medium for me, so I'm just going to hand paint it. So I'm just making sure my palette's ready, um, testing the colours next to each other. I've got my design over there. Come on. And my inspiration over there. So that's the actual colours that I want. And yeah, I'm just going to take it, take it from there. I'm Bianca, um, I'm an artist and right now I'm working on my bike and I am doing stenciling and doing Delicious Monster Leaves because my website is called Delicious Monster. <laughs> so that's a sort of inspiration behind it and yeah. Um, so what you st so you stencil them and then what you did, are they airbrushed? Onto they, yeah, these I airbrushed yesterday. Well they weren't actually airbrushed, they were with a spray gun. Um, and then I'm going to work with pens into them to give more detail. So this is basically the sort of basic flat that I'm going to work on too. Well, my name is Malik Tokwe. Originally I'm from the Eastern Cape, but uh, it's been two years since I've been here in, in Cape Town. Uh, I recently met up with Jamie at a, at a conference that was organized, not a conference, a workshop, sorry, man. Yeah. A workshop that, that was organized by CCIDI. Yeah. And, um, so I just read a note and heard that there was, there was a guy who was looking for leather workers and stuff, and which is like one of my trades as well. You know? So I also worked with leather. And at that time, I was mostly making hats with felt and stuff. And I still do to this day, but uh, mostly you know, I'm trying to get into the bikes. <laughs> to the bikes? Excellent. Are you enjoying it? I'm, I'm, I'm really yeah, happy. Really, yeah. um, so, so I met up with Jamie then in that workshop and then he told me that he's going to first have a couple of workshops and stuff. So I attended one and to try it out. But initially I was meant to just help out with the leather bags. Yeah. Uh, Sell bags and stuff like the one in that other yeah. one. So, um, but since then, man, I just kept gaining interest in everything, you know. So I came to the workshop and then I saw that he had artists as well. 
And then I said, can I try it out? He said, no, for sure you can try it out. And then here we are. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And on this bike, what are you doing? Are these the designs that you're actually going to be doing on the bike? Yeah, these are like a Ndebele kind of, you know, these are just rough sketches of ideas yeah. that I was just trying to brainstorm uh, when I was at home. So I'm just trying to get a feel of uh, that Ndebele feel. Yeah. Because the theme when we first came here was like, you know, create a homely kind of feel. So home was the thing. You know, so I made a couple of designs that incorporated uh, Ndebele and Africa as well. So I had like an African continent in the side of the frame and all the stuff going. That's Jamie good. really liked them and said, okay, cool. Now I'm trying to incorporate both of them in this, you know what I'm saying? Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm planning to do is to have like a, a portrait here. Yeah. So a lady's face. And then a, a map of an Africa there. With those two going together, it means like, you know, um, no matter where you go, you know, um, home will always be there, you know what I'm saying? That meal that your mom cooks, you know, you will get it even if it's in a restaurant and everything. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Brilliant. You know, so that's what I'm trying okay. to portray here. That home feeling that you would get anywhere, you know. And in Africa that is called Ubuntu. And that is the brand as well that uh, Brilliant. Ubuntu Jamie is working on. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you. Your time. At the moment you've got a Facebook page. What, where, what is the name of the Facebook page? So the Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Ubuntu Bikes. Okay. Um, on there there's lots of information about what we've been doing so far. Um, the website hasn't gone live yet. We're hoping for the website to go live in about four to well, about four or five weeks' time. But in the meantime, people can sort of come along to the Facebook page. They can learn about the journey so far, where we've been coming from, some of the challenges that we've had to overcome, um, and just learn more about the characters involved and see some images of some of the bikes that we're currently working on.